So at the moment, we are here facing direct to the direction of the St. Uh, Gertrude's or Gertrude's or St. Gertrude's Church. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today you're watching Bahadi Family Vlogs. Please come and join us here with us in Riga, Latvia. <laughs> Pamahagi namin sa inyo ang bawat impormasyon na aming makuha. <laughs> ang lalim ng <laughs> Ang lalim ng tegano na hindi ko pa si Kabay. Nati. Parang gusto ko lang maging <laughs> Parang gusto ko lang maiba yung vlog. <laughs> Ayos di ba? <laughs> Daddy? Gusto mo yun, Dad? <laughs> You didn't understand, right? Diba maganda din yung ganun? Parang kang newscaster ba? Did you like it, Dad? Uli. Ayaw po nila maging seryoso ang aking pag... Ano yung tawag nito? Aking pananalita. Eh, gusto ko eh. Ganun eh. Parang formal. Pero hindi naman boring habang naglalakad tayo, Daddy. So, ayan po ang lugar sa likod. At ito. Hi, naku. So, this is our next stop. The St. Gertrude's Church. Forgive me if I pronounce it wrong, but I read it like a St. Gertrude's Church. St. Gertrude's Church is a Lothian church in Riga, the capital of Latvia. It is a parish church of the Evangelical Lutheran Church of Latvia. If you walk down Gertrude's Ayala, you will notice the monumental Neo-Gothic church at the beginning of the street. This red brick masterpiece topped with a green corpus pile was designed by one of the city's most prolific architects, J.D. That is the St. Gertrude's, Gertrude's Church, or I don't know how to pronounce, but then that's it. At sana naman ay akala ko at namin ay malamig dahil kaya po kami ay nagbalot. Pero it's not actually malamig, it's a bit warm. So in a minute, we are going to take off all our jackets. Yeah, okay.
Sheila walking around along the road, heading to the Orthodox Church. So um, I've just noticed most of the buildings here are like the really fun of having pastels colored in most of the buildings. So it's kind of cool to the eyes to look and yeah, very relaxing. So that's how the good report. I'm a shadow. Ramian, at tuloy tuloy lang pong buhay at patuloy ang pakikipag usyoso dito sa mga uh, kasuluk-sulukan ng Riga Latvia at ng malaman na natin kung anong mga ganap at anong mga meron na maipagmamalaki nila at maipagmamalaki na rin nila Yes, we agree naman ang gaganda ng mga building, mga building. So our next stop is the Orthodox Church in Nakti. So dito guys, yung Orthodox Church, nasa gitna siya ng park. So it's in the middle of this park, a very beautiful park. Ayan, behind me. And there's a statue here. Okay? So usisain natin kung anong statue. Riga Nativity of Christ Cathedral is the Orthodox Cathedral in Riga, Latvia. was built and designed during the period when the country was part of the Russian Empire. It is the largest Orthodox Cathedral in the Baltic provinces, built with the blessing of the Russian Tsar Alexander II.
park and where is the called frozen river or the frozen lake so frozen river frozen lake in the winter time because this lake or this river is completely frozen uh, pag nag snow na talagang frozen siya kaya tinatawag siya na frozen lake This called Canal Cruise, so I just don't know how much, but you can do a Canal Cruise, and there's so much people over there. All the tourists flocking on there, so we're gonna go and makiosyo suta yon. Ay gusto ko siya. Ang ganda ng liga natya. I just didn't even realize kini to pa ganda dito, honestly. The Freedom Monument is a memorial located in Riga, Latvia, honoring soldiers killed during the Latvian War of Independence between the year 1918 to 1920. It is considered an important symbol of the freedom, independence, and sovereignty of Latvia. The core of the monument is composed of tetragonal shapes on top of each other, decreasing in size towards the top, completed by 19 meter or 62 feet high travertine column bearing the copper figure of liberty, lifting three glided stars. This built according to the scheme, shine like a star.
powder tower in Riga is one of medieval Riga's fortification wall towers, originally called the Sand Tower, built in 1330. In the 17th century, it was named the Powder Tower due to the gunpowder stored there. The next stop is the Cat House. Cat House Riga is in the old town of Riga, Latvia. Built in 1909, the building is styled as a medieval structure with some elements of Art Nouveau. It is known for the two cat sculptures with arched backs and raised tails in its roof. The story behind this unique architecture tells of its Latvian owner who was denied membership in the powerful grape guild. To show his displeasure, he built two cut sculptures on his roof with their backsides facing the guild and their tails straight up to finish the insult. Stonehead. The Stonehead. The history of the Stonehead when a farmer found it while plowing a field one day in 1851. He brought the stone along with some others, the stone mason. After realizing the rock was curved to resemble a human head, the stone mason sent it to the museum at the Riga Cathedral. So whatever the name of this park is so beautiful, so we cannot pronounce it, but it is beautiful. Look at the buildings behind me, oh, it's stunning. Look at that, iba? Pastel color ulit yung mga buildings nila, ayan. Very nice. Huh? Parang mga laruan lang, parang mga Lego blocks. Ang ganda. Gusto ko siya. Ang ganda. Nindot. What's coming on? Come on, ate. Ate, say this place is Nindot. Nindot aning lugar, ah, oy. Come on. Nindot, ah. Nindot aning lugar, ah. Come on. Lugar, ah. Nindot, ah. Anak, nindot. Anak, you said like that, nindot. <laughs> Nindot tayo ng lugar Diyos ko It's all like a toys I love it guys You got the chance come here In Riga, Latvia uh, Very historical Yung mga buildings But very unique uh, Structures Ganda itong lugar na to Look at this building guys Ang ganda niya Oh very light color.
Johnella Street. Junella Street is a street in the medieval old town of Riga. The street begins at the central square and goes to the northeast till the borders of the historical center. Junella Street, a narrow cobbled street in the heart of Riga's old town, was a Baker Street, home of the world's most famous fictional detective, Sherlock Holmes. of that building is really good isn't it look beautiful there's a lady's thing. not a lady I don't know it's like a man or a lady a lady man or something so we are here now in Daniela Street uh, the building's quite vintage and old you road Nila made up of The next stop is the Dome Cathedral. Riga Cathedral is the Evangelical Lutheran Cathedral in Riga, Latvia. It is the seat of the Archbishop of Riga. The cathedral is one of the most recognizable landmarks in Latvia and is featured in all the subject of paintings, photographs, and television travelogues. He started with hello on a summer afternoon. I lost myself in every And right now I'm here in the Dome Square. So the so Dome Square is the Dome Cathedral. Hmm? Oh diva. <laughs> My dancer. My next show dit is the Dome Square. Si Ryan. Ayan, very quiet sila dito. Ano lang natin na maingay? I think they are very preserved. Pag mag-usap sila, mahinahon, mahina. Kami, sumisigaw talaga kami. <laughs> Nagisigawan kami dito. <laughs> Parang nakalabas kami sa haula. And look at this building, Daddy. This is beautiful. Everybody else when I found you. Oh
the Riga Castle. Riga Castle Riga Castle is a castle on the banks of River Daugava in Riga, the capital of Latvia. The castle was founded in 1330. Its structure was thoroughly rebuilt between 1497 and 1515. Upon the castle's seizure by the Swedes, they constructed spacious annexes in 1641. The fortress was continually augmented and reconstructed between the 17th and 19th centuries. The Latvian government declared the castle its residence in 1938. Today, it is the official residence of the President of Latvia, as well as home to several museums. It's is the Riga Castle. Bantay sarado talaga yung mga guard guys. Kala siguro nila papasukin kasi no kayo eh no. May bayad kaya kayo. <laughs> so, ayan po. Kung nakita niyo yung mga guard, di ba? Katakot sila rin tingnan. <laughs> Parang hindi sila welcome for tourists. So, takot ako sa kanila. Ayan, talagang pantay sarado po yung Riga Castle. Uh, ayan, pastel color pa rin ang kulay. So, our next stop will be uh, the Latvia or Riga Central Market. And they said this is the largest market in Europe. Riga Central Market is Europe's one of the largest market and bazaar. It was built between 1924 and 1930 and joined Riga Old Town in prestigious UNESCO listings in 1998. Originally used as military airship hangars, they were later transformed into market venues. Riga Central Market is situated in the heart of Riga, a few hundred meters from Old Town on the banks of the River Daugava next to Riga International Bus Terminal and Central Railway Station. It is not only one of the largest marketplaces in Eastern Europe in area, but also one of the most visited as 80,000 to 100,000 people shop there per day on the average. In 1998, the vast territory of Riga Central Market was added to the UNESCO World Heritage List. Time 
guys we're here in the three brothers house it's called three brothers house uh, it's one of the historical structure here in Riga Latvia it was built by the three brothers so the other one here is built by the older brother which is for the merchants and trades and the yellow slightly yellow one is built by the middle brother and obviously that little one is more smaller than the other two was built by the youngest brother. Three Brothers is a building complex consisting of three houses situated in Riga, Latvia. The houses together form the oldest complex of dwelling houses in Riga. Each house represents various periods of development of dwelling house construction. The Three Brothers Complex today houses the State Inspection for Heritage Protection and the Latvian Museum of Architecture. <laughs> Blackhead's house, it was um, built by the group of the banquet caterers, a brotherhood called Blackheads. So it was actually bombed by the Germans before, but then it was ruined by the bombs and it was rebuilt and restored again. So I'll show you. House of the Blackheads is a building situated in the old town of Riga, Latvia. The original building was erected during the first third of the 14th century for the Brotherhood of Blackheads. was built as a venue for meetings and banquets held by Riga's various public organizations, a guild for unmarried merchants, ship owner, and foreigners in Riga. The building was bombed to a ruin by the Germans on June 28, 1941, and the remains were demolished by the Soviets in 1948. It was rebuilt between 1996 and 1999 with funds provided by the presidents of Forex Bank. Ganda. Ang ganda ng pagka ano ng building, very unique yung structure niya. Kita mo nasira na siya and then they actually restored it and it there it is now. Looks so beautiful. <laughs> Yeah. 
St. Peter's Church is the Riga's tallest church with a tower offering a breathtaking view of the red roofs of Old Town. The modern part of the city, Riga Bay and the Daugava River with its large port. In the heartbeat, and slowly going on, it's playing my part in the greatest story ever. So let's go inside in a souvenir shop to find some, of course, souvenir to bring back home. He started with hello on a summer afternoon I lost myself and everybody else when I found you Told you that I loved you, you weren't ready yet But I had all the time you needed to be here till the end souvenir shop kasi wala kami nakita doon sa kabila puro maliliit oh, oh. oh. so, Bansu Bridge Bansu 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 or something 